what to do when you are the target of a smear campaign. So first of all, what is a smear campaign? It's somebody else, a narcissistic person, a toxic person, or an otherwise unpleasant person who is trying to ruin your reputation by spreading lies, half-truths, any other kind of negative propaganda against you. So let's talk about what to do when that's happening to you. My name is Lise Colucci, and I'm here to help you heal from, recover from, and understand things related to narcissism and narcissistic relationships, and how to transform your life after you've been in one. So let's get started with how to handle a smear campaign. You're going to feel all kinds of things, anger, frustration, uh, injustice, all kinds of stuff you're going to be feeling. Even though you're feeling all of that, do your best not to react. Do your best to maintain calm. So here are some tips, some things to try when you are under attack by a toxic person who is smearing your name, your reputation, or anything else about you. Okay, don't over explain and don't lash out. So when other people approach you about it, you can simply make it kind of boring. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I heard those rumors. Or, well, if you know me, you know the truth, it's okay. Those who know me will understand. You keep it simple, you keep it small, you keep it short. Otherwise, people see you as over explaining and over reactionary, which makes you look guilty. That is the ugly truth about a smear campaign is that they're feeding information out there to make you look crazy, to make you look narcissistic, to make you look toxic, to make you look whatever it is they're trying to make you look. And anything you say in your defense is going to further make it look like that's the truth. So button up, keep it quiet, keep it calm, okay? And don't over explain, don't lash out back at people who are giving the information. If you lash out back, it's only furthering the smear to look legitimate. It's unfortunate because you can't defend yourself in the way that feels natural. If you do, the smearing will continue and they are just soaking up the supply they get from that battle they've created for probably no reason at all. Hey, don't try to convince people. That's the other part of that. Don't try to convince someone of your innocence. You can state it. Yeah, that didn't happen that way. But trying to convince them, again, over explaining. Don't feed into the manipulation. Don't start smearing back. Just do your best to basically go on with your life as if it isn't happening. When you do have to face something, when you do have a point to confront in it, choose your battles, choose your points that you choose to engage with and keep them few and far between. So in any smear campaign, it's not one thing. It's a lot of things that they're trying to defame you. They're trying to, to disintegrate the reputation that you have and, and trying to destroy your character. They're trying to take you out of the equation so that they look like the good guy and you look like the toxic one. Go back and watch my video last week about the smear campaign and, you, and I talk about how they do it and why they're doing it. So remember that. Remember that anything that they're doing is manipulation. They're manipulating a whole lot of people to believe an untruth about you. So do not play into that manipulation. Don't, don't engage in it as best that you can. And because there's so many different things that they're smearing at one time about you, sometimes some of those topics do need addressing. So choose them wisely, choose them carefully, and as few as you possibly can, and then just hold your ground. So model business-like, polite, the high road type of behavior. Model that for the public to see, for everyone else to see, because it's honestly the truth of who you are. Don't allow the reactions to become reactionary. And then all you have to do is just be you. Just be you that isn't engaging in someone attacking them. Okay, that's a lot easier to do when you do the next tip. Remember your truth. For who you are, remember your integrity. Remember that you are an important person with values, with morals, with whatever it is that you see yourself having and you know that you have okay and if you operate through that it's a lot easier to just take the high road in all of this you know you aren't you aren't going to feel super great while a smear campaign is going on so if you need it make sure you get support okay because it is oh so frustrating and oh so like 
helpless to have not only one person smear you, but you know what happens is it spreads into an entire community of people because that's the whole point of the smear campaign, right? It's not for one person to not like you, it's to turn an entire community against you. So get the support that you need outside of that community, not within it if you can, so that it is safe for you and you have someone that can help see you for who you are, even if that person can only mirror your awesomeness, right? Can only sit there and listen to you and say, wow, you know, you're a really amazing person. This isn't fair that this is happening. Sometimes that's so useful because we feel super lost when our friends are believing it, when people in communities are believing it, right? Do not communicate with the toxic person at all. This is grounds for no contact, in my opinion. And anyone who is in their circle, anyone who can be a flying monkey in this situation, block them. Do not communicate with them. Remember that they're going to take anything you say and twist it. And that goes for any common links that you have. So if you have things that you do, sometimes people have to step out of things that they enjoy for a while and let things settle down in order to just self-protect from all of the lies being said about them. Or you need to hold your head up and do the things anyway and not let it bother you. It's difficult. And let's talk about what you can do for you while you're in the middle of this. So here's the thing. While you're in the middle of a smear campaign with all those don'ts and don't do this and don't do that, there's a lot of do's as well. So do focus on you. Focus on your growth. Focus on your own healing. Focus on things in life that bring you what you want from life, the positive, the good things. If you're focusing on the smear, you're focusing in a direction you don't want to go. If you're riding a bicycle, don't stare at the ground because you don't want to go on the ground, right? Look where you're going, okay? Look at the direction you want to be for your life and follow that. To things that focus outside of it, sometimes we need to just take a vacation, right? Look a different direction, go do something else and find things that help you relax. This is super, super high stress stuff. So find things that help you legitimately and truly relax. Remember to stay on your path. They're gonna be pulling you off of your path. The narcissist will pull you off your path. The people around them that are listening and believing in this smear, the spur groups of secondary smears that happen are going to be pulling you off your path. You just keep looking the direction again that you want to go. So in all of this, there's opportunity for change. Okay, so say someone is smearing you at work. Maybe it's a job you didn't really want to be doing anyway, and this is an opportunity for you to start looking at what can help you. So keep an open mind to the changes that you want to make in your life and see if there's any opportunity in the situation that you're in right now to make those changes. Use the energy that you're feeling from the frustration and the anger and the unjustness of it all towards something good for your life. If you need help with anything, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in every video's description. You guys, leave me a comment if you are experiencing a smear or have experienced a smear and let me know what's helping you, what's not helping you. What do you think about dealing with the smear campaign? And I will see you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye-bye.